Ooh, look at that. Cheese and... This is my first time trying pupusas. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of The $5 Bite. If you've been following this series, you know we have been eating really well on a budget all around Houston. I'm hoping that you've been able to try some of these places for yourselves. If you have, be sure to drop a comment down below letting me know what you think of the places and what you would have ordered or what you've been ordering as well. And I'd love to hear feedback on where you'd like to see me go and what kind of food you'd like me to show for a budget of $5. Today, we're gonna try something super special. I've actually never had this before, but it's El Salvadorian food and we're gonna have pupusas, and we went to the one and only Mama Rosa's Pupuseria, which is located on Hillcroft between West Park and Richmond Avenue. This area is super diverse. We've done tons of videos all around this area. If you can remember, we went to a Mediterranean restaurant called Ala Seal. We've done Indian spots and just lots of diversity all over this area. So if you haven't been to the Southwest corridor of Houston, Texas, where this place is located, you will find tons of food on a budget, not necessarily $5 every time, but pretty cheap, pretty close, and pretty good. So let's go inside and check it out. Do you have a menu? This is my first time trying pupusas. So how does it work? What do you recommend for first time? The meat. The meat? Beans. Bean. Pork or, you said meat, cheese, pork or beans? Okay, let me try one with the mix. So it's $1.99 for one piece? Yeah. No, let me do the, I want to try the Laroco. Let me do that one and one mix. $4.59. Nice. Yes, please. How long have y'all been here? 11 years. 11 years? Wow, awesome. Thank you. Perfect, I appreciate it. Thank you. Is there sauce in there? Um, like a salsa or what is this one? Ha like ha like jalapeno? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just like pickle or spicy? It's a little spicy? Okay, so I just put it on there together with the salsa? Okay, perfect. I appreciate it. No, that's enough. Thank you. Yep. All right guys, we are back in the car. We've got our pupusas right here. I tried to find out a little more insight, but they're a little busy. It's noisy in there and they got the music blared up and I was a little nervous. So when I do these videos, I usually don't say anything about filming. Although I do have my, my um, camera on my backpack clip. It's a little awkward, but you know what? I just, I like that element of surprise. I think when things are rehearsed, you don't see the realness of the environment. So I hope you, you guys appreciate that and um, enjoy that style of my filming. If you like it to be a little more rehearsed, let me know in the comments below. But I, I personally think it's just fun to watch, to see the reactions of people and just in their natural environment. But with that said, we're here for the food anyways and uh, we're back in the car like I said. I'm gonna bring out my handy tray, handy dandy tray. I love this thing. I can't find it on that same link from Amazon, so I'm gonna put a different link. I don't know if the seller changed. Continuing to love this thing. Gonna hook it in here for the pupusas. The one thing I will say is it takes a little time. It took about 10 to 15 minutes, and they said that. So just get ready to wait once you order. I noticed a lot of people phoned in their order and then they picked it up, which I think is also probably really good to do so you don't have to wait like I did, but no problem looks like honestly something from an indian restaurant like naan or something but it's it's a di bit of a different texture to it and these are hot still i can i can smell the steam coming off of it Oof, it's like a corn flour so i got two pupusas one was 225 and then the other one was 199 i was a little confused with that because it just looked like they all have about the same amount of ingredients but i got the laroco with one of them and then i've got one with mixed it's called revueltas which means i guess mixed and then we've got this stuff on the side there's some veggies and a salsa and the veggies are a little bit 
I guess she said it was like a pickly slash a little spicy. So looking forward to trying it out. I saw people eating a lot of food there. Obviously with $5, there's only so much you can get, but there was people with these huge portions. So for the money you spend in here, you're gonna get a lot of food. And I saw almost everyone that left with eating there, they had a to-go box as well. So good sign that you can get a lot of stuff for your money. I was kind of watching what they're doing in there. So I guess you just put a little bit, well, let's just try this. It looks like sauerkraut almost. And I don't know what this is exactly, except it's just a bunch of veggies, kind of salad looking. Carrots, I see some cabbage. There's a jalapeno in there, but uh, looks good, smells good. It's like a coleslaw, but without mayo. It's got a tang to it. It's a, got a small kick, but it's not, it's not spicy by my standard, in my opinion, but I guess for some, they might be surprised. This is heavy. This is pretty heavy. So let's just rake inside. Ooh, look at that. Cheese and I think this is pork. Yep, and some beans in here too. It's a little messy, so get ready for that. I've got napkins, they hooked it up with napkins, thank you. And I've got some salsa as well. Very similar to a, t a tomato base, uh, like a Mexican salsa from the smell. Ooh, but the taste, it's a bit deeper, very bold flavor. Now that is spicy, not terribly, but more so than that. Okay, without salsa. It's very reminiscent to like a tamale because it's made of corn, but it's very different. It's a cross between a calzone, almost pizza-like, in my opinion. Let's try it with the salsa, though. That is really good. Now I know why a lot of people are in there. This place is popping, and this is cheap. This was $2. Excellent, excellent. This is enough food, honestly, folks. But I wanna try it with this, I can't remember what you called it, like, ha -ha or Anyway, let me know. If you know what this is called, down in the comments, I asked her like a bunch of times, it was just too loud in there. And I guess they got a little busy, so here we go. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, ooh, it's hot. It's the hot part. But hot is good because it means it's fresh. Hot, oh my God, but it's so good. That bite reminded me of a Central American pizza. I cannot explain it. The corn, the veggies do, change the flavor profile significantly. It makes it way better. I wasn't a big fan at first. I was like, eh, I'm not a big coleslaw fan, but good. Now the next bite is gonna be with the veggies, cabbage, veggies, whatever you wanna call them. I'm gonna put these, put that on there, and I'm just gonna put a little salsa. There you go. With the salsa, it's really good. I just burned my thumb though. <laughs> Uh, so good though. I would eat this a lot if it was close by me. So I think the, the key to good pupusas is that it needs to be made fresh and you need to eat it pretty quick. Otherwise, you know, you don't eat old pizza, right? Well, some of us do, but, but it's just a much better experience when you eat like fresh bread, same thing. This has been disputed to be the best pupusa place in all of Houston, all of H-Town, best pupusas. Google it and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm sure there's a lot of people that'll disagree, agree, but let me know in the comments if you do or not. If you think it's the best, let me know. And if you don't think it's the best, let me know where you think the best pupusas are and why, and if it's gotta fit in the budget. No, I'm just kidding, I'll check it out as well. But solid, I like it. I'm curious to see what the Loroco tastes like because this one's like solid. Muy excelente. Thumbs up from me, folks. As you can see here, we have the Loroco. Let's break this thing. Ooh, it's hot too. Hot, hot, hot. You see there, you can see inside. So I guess it's got cheese, Loroco mixed. It's a little bit of that cabbage stuff. It's just a busy part of town. There's always something going on. People are honking in and out all day. People are going in and out of this place. You can probably see a few people here and there. Ooh, look at this cheese. It's so hot though. It's so hot, but you gotta eat it right as soon as it comes out. Otherwise, I have a feeling it's not the same experience. You see that? So this is the Loroco. I'm gonna try this by itself. It tastes like a green bean, to be honest. Like, kind of like green bean-ish. A little salty. It's not bad. It's really, that's the best way to describe it, green bean. 
Let me know down below if you think that's correct or not. I've never had this before. First for me, it looks delicious as well. This one doesn't have meat. So this is a place where you can bring vegetarians, the annoying vegetarians, come and get them some uh, pupusas. I don't know about vegans. Maybe vegans can get like a plain one, but um, I think Sandy would like this too. The cheese here is off the chain. So honestly, the first one was better, but this one's not bad. It's just different. I like things with a lot of different flavors in them. Obviously, you've seen my videos. We always eat flavorful food, so I'm always gonna gravitate to the more flavorful stuff. But this is definitely a solid find. Definitely, definitely come check this place out. Whether you're on a budget or not, they have good pupusas. I'm sticking by this place as being the best pupusa area in all of H-Town. They said they've been around for at least 11 years. The sign, I think, said since 1966. Either way, if you've been around for 10 years or more, you are doing something right and the people love it. They're in here eating. There was a line at one point as well. So thumbs up from me. Check this place out. Mama Rosa's Pupuseria off of Hillcroft between Richmond and West Park. It's actually windswept. It's a side street. If you remember, there used to be a club called Coco Loco back in the days. It is literally diagonal from where Coco Loco used to be. I remember that was like the hot spot back in the days in the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah, that's how old I am. But hey, now it's a good place to get pupusas. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Like I said, comment down below if you uh, have had this before or if you have another place that you think is the best or just in general, let me know what this is or what I should have ordered. Maybe I'll come back next time and, and take some of those recommendations. But with that said, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next episode. All right, bye.